Her first album earned over 16 million streams, and her songs Your Love Defends Me and Warrior became top radio hits. All this from a young artist who once thought she was too bashful ever to become a singer. Take a look. Award-winning singer-songwriter Hannah Kerr began singing when she was just five years old. Yet she never dreamed her voice would leave the four walls of her church because she was so shy. Today, she shares the stage with bands and Christian artists that include Casting Crowns for King and Country, The Newsboys, and Carrie Job. She just released her latest album, Christmas Eve in Bethlehem, featuring two original songs along with many holiday favorites. Welcome to the 700 Club, Hannah Kerr. It's great to have you with us. Thank you so much for having me. You, music is just a part of your DNA. You come from a family of musical people. Tell me a little bit yes. about your family. So I grew up in the church, and both my parents were worship leaders, and so I really grew up loving Christian music and loving music in general. Um, we have 13 trumpet players in my extended family. Wow. I mean, our family absolutely breeds music, so <laughs> I've always been involved with music, but I never thought I'd be a singer. I always thought, you know, I'll be a teacher or something, and I would have been totally happy with that, but the Lord has just opened the door for me to do music in this way, and I'm so grateful. It's been wonderful. So how did you, you know, that that little video piece talked about how bashful, how shy you were. How did you first overcome that to be able to actually get up on the stage and sing what you were singing at home? Well, the first time I ever sung in church, I sang Silent Night and I was five years old. Wow. And my dad was like, I just need someone to sing it. So will you do it? And so I went up there and I sang and I remember feeling nervous. But as soon as I started singing, I thought, you know what, maybe this is what God has for me. Like, I love doing this. This is so fun. And so as I got older, I would still sing at church, but I never performed. And so when I started doing my own music, I started performing and I would feel nervous, but knowing that this is what God has called me to do has allowed me to not feel so nervous and just feel confident and know that He is guiding my steps. And I don't have yeah. to be afraid because He's with me, so. Well, you not only sing, but you also write. When did you realize you had that gift? Not until I was in high school. So yeah. I started writing songs and my oldest brother is a songwriter in Nashville and he's so amazing. And so I showed him this little song that I had written and I said, do you think this is any good? And he said, this is great. Let's write it together. And so my first co-write was my brother. And then um, I started writing from there and just fell in love with writing songs. I absolutely love being able to say something in a song that God has spoken to me or something that I've read in the word. So just to put it to music is really meaningful and my favorite part of the process. Well, it's actually a wonderful opportunity to, to deposit what God's speaking to your yeah. heart into the hearts of other people. It's yeah. so wonderful. You're going to sing for us today. First yes. of all, I want to mention you have a Christmas CD. Of course, I love Christmas CDs, <laughs> but this is um, Christmas Eve in Bethlehem. That's a song you wrote? It is. It's a song that I wrote with the guy that I'm going to be playing on the show with today named Jason. Um, so we wrote two songs for this Christmas album, and then the rest are Christmas classics and carols and songs that people will hopefully know. So, yes. So what were you thinking about when you wrote this song, Christmas Eve in Bethlehem, the one you're singing today? Yeah, we were really thinking about what it would have been like if we were there on the night when Jesus was born. Obviously, we were not there, but just to put ourselves in the situation and say, mm -hmm. how would I respond to Christ's coming? Would I be like the shepherds who dropped everything and went to visit Jesus? Mm -hmm. Would I be like the wise men who see a star and follow it to the, to the manger? Mm -hmm. um, and really the end of the song comes to the realization that we have the opportunity to accept Christ, each and every one of us, into our hearts and into our lives. Um, and for the day when Jesus comes again, we'll get to worship him with all of creation and all of the people who worship him as well. That's awesome. Well, we can't wait to hear it. I'm going to release you to go over and get ready to sing, Hannah, while I tell people once again about her new CD. It's called Christmas Eve in Bethlehem. That's the song she's going to be singing for us today. It is available wherever music is sold. And you can also hear more from Hannah in our social interview on Facebook. All you have to do for that is go to facebook.com slash 700 club.